Um, first, I'm again, always thankful that you came and took the time. I want to thank uh, Rutgers Nation for showing up all year at the rack. Um, disappointed for these guys. These guys have been awesome. They worked their tail off. We were in that game um, and uh, couldn't make some plays down the stretch. But uh, we're a little bit banged up, too, as, as you can see. And, uh, you know, we got to get healthy here and start this next next round here for us, the next season. You know what? Thankful that they, they came out, and, and these guys deserve that. They've worked hard. You know, I took over the job two years ago, and they didn't know me from anybody. And guys have chosen to leave and go different routes. These guys, you know, stuck with us, and the rise of this program is, you know, because of the work that they've done. You know, we took over a team that won seven games, and we are now uh, in every game just about, and, and uh, have done. These guys have done yeoman's work for the last years, a couple of years, and I'm proud of them. And uh, Candido, too, on senior night, the first game he missed with his shoulder injury. He, he's done an unbelievable job, too, for us. And the last play of practice yesterday, he hurt his shoulder. So I want to hope that he, you know, we missed him tonight, too, and he would have he gave us a little bit of a lift, especially with the foul trouble that we had. Well, they made shots, yeah, and they made their free throws. And, you know, that's a team that defends. And, you know, we got a couple good looks. I think we needed to capitalize. We didn't, we didn't make free throws when we needed to, um, you know, and they play really good defense, and they made they made some big shots. You mentioned foul trouble. I think this is the second most fouls called in any of your games this season. How much does that affect you guys in the second half? Well, I mean, just not having, you know, Candido's our other four-man, so uh, and we wanted to play, you know, they're a small team, so we really needed – him to give D a blow, um, but I couldn't. And Gene needed a blow at times. So, um, you know, just a difficult game in that they play a different style and it's very taxing, you know. And, uh, you know, and then having D in foul trouble and having other guys in foul trouble. Issa was in foul trouble right off the bat, you know, kind of hurt our rotation a little bit. And again, not having, you know, Candido, who's been a real rock coming off the bench for us. And he can play the four and the five, so he's a little kind of a different defender. So that hurt us too. Yeah, and they did, and they got into lane two, and then, you know, they have some pick and pop fours and fives, too, that step out, and sometimes that's harder for our fives, our true fives to guard, you know, and that's where uh, D and, and Gene and, and Candido are kind of hybrids. They can kind of guard those guys on the perimeter, um, you know, so that, that, that hurt us, and they took took advantage of it. You know what? It's a great league, and you know we've had a lot of. You know, we we play the best schedule in the Big Ten, and uh, we've had a ton of injuries. We've probably gone through the most. Mike missed ten games. You know, you know G, Eugene still back. Then we had Geo with the flu, eleven pounds down. And these aren't any excuses, but you know, we need everybody, and and we need everybody playing in the. You know, I think the best league in the country. So. Uh, um, you know, and you got to play better uh, on both ends of the ball here. It's not just a one side of the ball league. You got to play well on both sides of the ball. Did you plan to use Jake as much as you did? And what do you think of the minutes he gave? Yeah, he did no turnovers. Last time we, we turned the ball over alarmingly. I wanted more ball handlers. You know, Gio's not quite back yet, too, from the thing. So we needed extra ball handlers. And Jake's been really good and trustworthy and did a really nice job today for us. He really did. And, and having extra ball handlers on the floor helped us. Uh, if you saw the last game we played, we really struggled to, you, you know, to, to get up some shots. Mike, with all the fouls, do you ever feel like you, you guys just never really kind of get in a groove? The game is kind of disjointed. Um. <clears throat> uh, I guess you could say that, um, you know, like, you know, like, like he said, second most fouls. I didn't realize it, but, um, you know, it's kind of hard to get into the foot, into the rhythm of the game when it keeps like, there's like a stoppage. But, um, you know, we're looking forward to playing at the Garden. So, you know, on to the next game. Well, I mean, you could just tell. He's not, you know, and when you lose 11 pounds and you don't weigh that much to begin with, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, it takes a little bit of time. I'm thankful he came back as quickly as he did. Um, you know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this happened yesterday, the last play of the game, and. You know, so he has to see some people tomorrow and kind of get a feel for it. But he, you know, couldn't play today, and, and he's never missed a game. So, Mike, Illinois is one of the teams you could possibly be facing on Wednesday. Did you want another chance at them after the first two? 
Uh, definitely, yeah. you know, um, you know, like they like they say, third time's a charm. You know, uh, growing up, I had heard this quote saying that it's hard to be a team three times in a row. So you know, um, we got a, a good feel for them now. You know, we're gonna be more prepared. And, you know, hopefully get a win on Wednesday. What's week? Like, Tuesday, Wednesday. 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 There you go. Mike, you uh, got Trent and T. John Lucas in foul trouble, and, and Illinois didn't really have a point guard after that. But what was the strategy? I'm sure you're trying to get them out of the game. Uh, yeah, get the primary ball handers out the game, and you know, make other people like off the bench come and do things that they normally don't do. So you know, that was pretty much the game plan. You know, try to get them in foul trouble. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> Steve, is there any sort of feeling going to next week? That you guys have to do something. Yeah, I mean, we, we got to get healthy, too. And then, you know, Corey has been battling a foot problem, too. So I'm going to give him a tip of the hat today for playing the minutes he played when, you know, he didn't practice the other day. And, uh, you know, so we got to get healthy. And these guys are good. We got 40 minutes to get you 40. And we're going to be there. We're going to be ready to play. And these guys are going to play with energy like they always do. The seniors are going to lead us. And, you know, we're, we're, we're going to Madison Square Garden to 40 minutes gets us 40. And that's going to be our slogan. And we're going to play. So I'm very confident of that.